And now we do have new information this morning about those tragic murders that happened on live television in Virginia. Buster Flanagan fired 17 shots that killed a reporter and photographer, and now we're getting a look inside his dark, dingy, bare bones apartment. And we're hearing about his erratic and sometimes threatening behavior from his former bosses. ABC's Mary Bruce joins us from Roanoke this morning. Hi, Mary. Hey, Paula, good morning. As this community okay. comes together to mourn these two young lives, this morning we're getting a clearer picture of their killer. This morning, new chilling details about the popular young man from Oakland, California, who grew to become an angry, cold-blooded killer. Those who knew Vester Lee Flanagan say he was one of the cool kids, junior prom prince, a former model. His old headshots found tacked on the fridge in his apartment, showing a young man full of ambition. Live in Henry County, Bryce Williams. As he bounced from one small TV market to another, former colleagues say there were no signs of trouble. But when Flanagan overheard some his Tallahassee, Florida station joking about him being gay, he appeared to snap. He started spiraling in, so it really became a problem with him. He began lashing out, berating coworkers over slight comments, and eventually was fired. After years away from television, when Flanagan reappeared in Roanoke, Virginia, it was with a new name, Bryce Williams, but apparently the same hostilities. The man who hired him at the time was unaware of his turbulent past. You know, the way human resources rules work in, in our modern society, there's not a whole lot you can delve into in their personal past unless they're going to offer it. But it wasn't long before the trouble began. There started to be conflicts between he and his co-workers. It was one after another. While she was just an intern at the time, Flanagan accused Allison Parker of making racist comments. He claimed the photographers were conspiring against him and singled out Adam Ward. In early 2013, he was fired, escorted from the station by police, an incident filmed by Ward. On his way out, he made an ominous threat. Slammed his fist down on the table, threw a wooden cross at me and said, you're going to need these. That rage boiling over Wednesday when Flanagan shot and killed his two former colleagues. Now, as you can see, the tributes here continue to pour in. Friends and family will gather to celebrate Adam Ward's life on Monday, ahead of a memorial service on Tuesday. Allison Parker will be remembered in a private ceremony. Tom. Those two journalists so loved in that community. Okay, Mary, thank you so much.